Okay, first we're going to need our hex editor. There's the RAM. We're going to need the debugger. That will show uh, a translation of the ROM file code. Um, yep, all those hex values you see on the right translate to these um, assembly commands. Let's try to find what the player's Y position is. Aha, uh -huh. looks like 0360 has a lot to do with that here. That seems to go up and down when um, we jump. And we can test that by doing a freeze. All right, so I'm going to jump and freeze it. Oh, there I go. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> I'm uh, just walking along. Okay, so that's kind of cool. What else can we do with that? Let's unfreeze that. And what if we just change that value? Yep, there we go. We're just teleporting around. Um, okay, so that's the player's Y position. Let's add a bookmark. Name that player's Y position. Okay. Add. What else? What is controlling the Y position? We see a bunch of values down here. 0460. Okay. Let's, let's add something to that. 4D. Yeah, look. It's making me jump. So let's stop the code when something's written to that address. We're going to write a breakpoint there. Okay. So 0460 um, and execute a stop when something's written there. So now I'm going to jump. Here's our code. There's three placeholders in the NES code. There's the accumulator, X, and Y. What is happening here, it's um, taking whatever is in O7CA and loading that into the accumulator. Then it's doing something to adjust that value, and then it's transferring the accumulator value into Y. Now it's loading E49F into the accumulator based on Y as an offset, storing it in O440, loading O4AO into Y as an offset, and storing it into O460. So whatever is in E4AO is making our player jump. So let's go to E4AO. Open that in the hex editor. So there's something called a data logger. Code data logger. With the code data logger enabled, you can see everything in the ROM code that has been part of the loop. All, all this code has been read from the system. Everything in black hasn't been used at all. Not executed, not read. Uh, the things in yellow are, are code that's in language. All this stuff will show in yellow. But all this stuff that's undefined, those are just values stored statically in the memory that is pulled into the game. So, you see, let's reset the log. Now it's blank. Now let's start the log. Okay, you can see some of the code is being written too. Now let's jump. Look at that. 
All this, when I jumped, all this was executed. So this is probably the code for jumping. And here's those two values we were talking about earlier. So it loads of E4AO based on Y and stores it into our jump value. So I know it says E4AO down there, but the ROM, there's a one line of header code at the top that pushes everything down. So things that say E4AO in our assembly actually show up one row down. So E4BO, FB. Let's try altering that code, okay? We need to undo our breakpoint, press play. Okay, jump. Um, let's just make it an even F. Whoa! <laughs> There I am. <laughs> Just like smashing my head on the ceiling. Alrighty. Um, that was kind of extreme. Um, F A. Eh, it's kind of a higher jump. Okay, so that was our jump amount. Let's see where else our breakpoint stopped. Hmm, what's this? Open in hex editor. It looks like here in the loop, this clears the carry flag, increases RAM address 440 at a rate of 40. Then if 440 would pass zero, this carry flag will be set again. Here it loads our jump amount at zero and then stores it back in our jump amount. But anytime you add with the carry flag set, it's going to be one more. So this would actually add one if 440 passed zero. So 440 is going to be our jump rate. Let's add a bookmark and call it jump acceleration rate. Add. Now let's try changing that address. Open in the hex editor. A940, and you can see, like, if I make this twice as big, then it looks like I'm kind of like jumping twice as fast. If I make this half of 40, that looks like, look, look how floaty I am. That's so cool. So I'm just floating around. <laughs> okay, we. Wow, look at that. Okay, so there we go. We added some crazy um, physics. Oh, we should add a bookmark here. This one we know was, this is the player's jump amount. Okay, let's add that. Um, what else can we do? 